talking chainsaw boots today. Well, these are uh, our boots. These are climbing boots, non-chainsaw protective. And then you got your your uh, cream of the crops right here, scaffolites. I wanted to uh, shed some light on these here boots for some folks maybe that have been kicking the tires a little bit, thinking about getting uh, stepping into some Arb boots. Uh, you can go back on my channel and watch. I did a comparison already of these two boots here. Kind of not, it's not apples to apples since chainsaw boot, non-chainsaw. But here we can talk things I like and, and don't like about these these boots. These, uh, and these are Andrew Arb Pro, Andrew Servino Woods S3 boots here. I got to say they're probably my uh, all-time favorite boot. They are pricey. Um, I'll put the prices, current prices, as as of the making of this video, put them up. I believe I paid it with a little 10% discount. I paid a uh, uh, 370. I think these retailed, and uh, I got a 10% discount from uh, Arborware before I got these. These I ordered uh, ordered from one of the other Arborist suppliers. So compare and compare and contrast these these two boots. Uh, you can see they're both kind of high boots, scaphalites. Scaphalites are a little bit bigger, so a little more ankle support. And uh, these do make uh, better uh, winter boots, I do believe. Now, granted, they're really close, but I think these, uh, you know, for stepping in deep snow and, uh, and maybe a hair warmer. They, well, they are. They're definitely warmer boots. It's like summer, summer and winter. They're warmer boots and just a wee bit heavier. I gotta say, with uh, from what I found, even with uh, I had a pair of Hakes XR two hundred boots, which I disliked, but uh, even them boots, they look better. I feel like all these Arborist boots uh, look better as they get dirty and broke in and worn in, roughed up. up. So when they first came, they're super bright, like Power Ranger uh, blue. These ones and my other boots were just brown leather, but they looked even better after they got worn in. And uh, these here, not as flashy, but they still had somewhat of a moon boot, moon boot appearance when they got first got in. And now that they're they're a little dirty and worn, they look pretty pretty decent. You know, nothing too flashy. But uh, these immediately, uh, as I mentioned in the the video I did about these boots, uh, they have a, a pretty rough breaking period, like two weeks of almost hell. And then all of a sudden, just when you're thinking like, oh boy, I might've made a big mistake. Then uh, the sunlight peeks up over the ass crack of the mountains and and uh, you're like, oh wow, I can see now. So they they uh, they will redeem themselves, but it just gotta give, you gotta fight the battle until they're broken. These immediately, I uh, loved them. As soon as it was love at first, uh, first boot, you know, like as soon as I put my foot in there, it was like, oh, oh baby, these were uh, comfortable right away. I will say too that these appear, if you have wider feet, fatter feet, these boots uh, would be your boots versus these. These have that tight, like tighter heel. They wanted to go for, I think like uh, ultimate fitmanship where it was like kind of real snug on your foot. So your foot didn't have a lot of movement side to side and such. It had like a, there's a custom shape to it to sort of lock your heel in. This one's a little more wide and open. So a little more inviting. So if you got wider feet, which I do not, but the, the little extra room in there doesn't bother me. It's actually, it makes it pretty nice. So like I said, I think these are my new favorite boots. I, I do highly recommend them. I got about, I got eight, I got about eight months. So almost the full season on these boots. And they don't show, they don't show any really signs of, of uh, quitting. Other than I do have, I do have a little minor, minor uh, soul separation going on there. But it doesn't, doesn't appear to, to yet be an issue. And I think I can mend that with a little bit of, a little bit of glue. But I mean, all these uh, soles on a lot of these boots are. That's how they are. They're glued on. Uh, if you look at the uh, if you look at the actual boot itself, there's really no signs. Uh, there's a little bit of like some chainsaw roughage on the back there, but these things uh, they're extremely waterproof. 
and they are uh they're more tolerable in the summer versus the scaphalites but uh and they also are pretty good in the winter i did dabble a little bit in uh coming out of winter is when i got them so i did get into some snow with them and uh they're pretty good i gotta admit but these uh so I do believe I'm going to run these these guys uh, during the summer, spring and fall months, and then I'm going to kick back over to to these guys for winter. These have kind of bumped them bumped them out of the the top spot. I feel like just all around boots for the money. Those are those are awesome for climbing and groundwork. Just all around work, they uh, they seem to be good enough. But uh, these are two seasons. This is two seasons on these boots here. And the soles just, I mean, just barely, barely starting to come apart on that guy. And then look at the boot. We got, it's still very, very good shape. So, I mean, two seasons, I have no doubt these are, these are going to go for another, if I, if I chose to, jump back into these boots full time. Uh, I have no doubts that they're gonna go uh, a third season. And if not, you know, another half a season or something, I'm, I'm sure at that point, they'd be pretty, uh, the sides would be, would have to be pretty rough. But I mean, I easily, you can see a third season we could get out of these boots, just for judging by it, cause they're, they're in very good shape. And these, these definitely strike me as going two seasons easy but the sole separation does concern me a little bit ain't gonna lie but both of them still uh extremely waterproof like i mentioned but these ones i went i think about a nice good uh eight to ten hour day pushing 10 hours in a a very rainy day before and i just uh they never took on water but like they just started to like absorb it into my uh, into the inside of the boot and I had a white pair of socks on and I started to get on the top of my foot. Uh, when I got home, there was a little blue staining from the blue boot. Uh, but like my foot wasn't saturated at all. It was like just starting to get damp in there just a little bit to where you could feel it in the sock. But it was after about 10 hours, pushing 10 hours on a, like an almost nonstop rainy day, kind of one of those on off, get real heavy and then go to misting drizzling kind of thing these i haven't had quite a no 10 hour rain day but i've definitely had like all day wet and my feet have never like so i uh as far as when you go arb boots i feel like the waterproof isn't an issue they all seem to be they seem to be right there uh you don't gotta worry about that but comfort that's one thing when we're talking uh climbing these were okay on spurs there was a, these just felt unnatural walking in them and they're very tough to get uh, on and off your I, I did not I very very much dislike the whole having to unlace like pull all that slack out to get your foot in and out and if I were to these fit actually once my foot's in they actually fit perfectly so if I were to buy like a half size bigger I feel like they would be too a little too big just all in the name of getting my foot in and out easier I don't know if that would be quite worth it they seem to be all, all all around decent. Like they would hold up okay, but just dislike these boots though. They were okay on spurs, but you could still feel arch pressure a little bit, and uh, it just wasn't worth uh, worth it. So that's why these are in still really good shape, and I probably won't won't ever wear them again. I don't I don't think unless I really have to or something. But I just like having a protective toe and having the chainsaw protection is just kind of like once you wear it. There's no going back. These were uh, very nice. These are the best on spurs. As far as like being in them all day on spurs and not feeling any type of discomfort. Like there was, I never really, I don't think I ever felt arch pressure from these. So these, I, these have to uh, get the win as far as climbing on spurs go. And then like I said, these are the worst. And these are, these are right in the middle where you can pretty much be in them all day on spurs. They do have a little bit better design on the arch, I think. Uh, just a little, I mean, that's a decent little heel, but it's small. And uh, these these seem to be, 
he seemed to be a little better uh, designed for it. But that being said, I have at times certain positions if I'm maybe waiting on the crane to come back. Uh, I, I could start if I just stay there in one spot. I started to feel the arch pressure in these. Not not nothing terrible like some of the cheap boots you can buy, like Walmart boots or even some of the Timberland boots. Uh, I've had those will. Oh, kidding. Some of those Timberlands even you'll you'll get some really wicked arch pressure, and these like all around though, and I like I just love them. They're they're comfortable and they seem like. They seem like they're, you know, they, they pay for themselves uh, first couple days you wear them. So you make your money back. Uh, and so really it's, but the, I know that price tag for chainsaw boots and chainsaw pants and such like that. And like our Protoss helmets and all that. It's scary to some folks, but man, once you buy them, uh, what's that? Buy once, cry once, man. Once you buy the good stuff, it's like, yeah, then you're, then you're really happy. And so... Uh, I do highly recommend these boots very comfortable so if you're looking for all that middle if you got fatter feet uh, and looking for like right away uh, good performance these are the ones to go to uh, but like I said eight months showing a little bit of extra uh, sole wear um, so that's gonna be a little bit of a concern and we got two seasons on these which is almost 24, I mean, you know, not full 12 months, but I guess so. we'd be at 20-something, 20 22, 22 months maybe on these boots. And we're rocking, like, still, so I got really... Um, Damn cat's messing up the video. Um, I'm really getting my money's worth out of these boots, so... I hope that's informative to some, at least, uh, maybe considering these, these types of boots that haven't yet. That uh, you really uh, you really can't go wrong with the chainsaw boots. They uh, seem to be uh, as far as for rugged, like logging, rugged, uh, woodsy, stump riddled uh, terrain. They're they're like they got that bulletproof, like tank like co uh, confidence and sturdy, rigid kind of uh, feel to them. Rugged and tough. And climbing, they're really good. Uh, I think there are those those folks that do like the quick quicker nimbleness of these uh, like boots like these, but there's not much of a difference to me. And then as far as the sole, like they claim that these are these grip branches better and such. I don't think I there's I would say the difference is really negligible. Like there's not there really isn't much of a difference between like these 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 or those. There's so all around, I I don't I I prune I prune and do removals with uh with either of these boots. And you can move you can move a little better with these boots versus those. So I guess it's up to the individual to weigh that decision what they're looking for. I hope I uh, explained. I guess some of the features both. Both are very. Uh, so my favorite one of my favorite things about them. Both are so easy to put your foot in and out of because they open so, they open so wide. You just say so you practically you just step into them. You don't even have to really hold the boot. You just step in, especially these ones. These scaffolds, they open up very well. Well, thanks for stopping by my vacation house and hanging out, listening to me ramble about boots. But uh, it's an important topic to me. I like to share stuff like this for some some of the folks that that uh. That uh, have w that wonder about about uh, some of our arborist gear. So thanks for watching. I appreciate every one of you.